Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. So here is the gifted grappler trying to take her career to the next level here tonight. She is so good when it comes to securing top position, controlling other fighters on the ground, and she would appear to have an advantage in that department in this matchup tonight. And it starts in the clinch. To be as effective a grappler as she is, you have to be really, really good at takedowns from the clinch. It's the way that she takes the body and moves you from point A to point B that is truly inspiring to watch. She goes to these body lock takedown, she goes to the foot sweep, she goes to the arm spin and the throws. It's unreal to watch her implement these techniques that you see a lot in judo into mixed martial arts. And if she got me inside control, it's over, John. It's done. I don't even think I could get out of my life. Those few jiu-jitsu classes yeah. you've done, get your money back. Give me that key. Well, I'm not sure if she's a third degree or a fourth degree Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they are just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on the Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability to do jiu-jitsu at such a high level, it's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the ground right. with her. Because as you're thinking, if I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jujitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jujitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. A Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Misha Cupcake Tate. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 129 pounds. Assassin! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. women specialists, but one of them, of course, a decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. The other really plies her trade as a grappler. Any chance we see some striking in this matchup? Tonight? I mean, to start, to start. But ultimately, they will go to what got them here, and that's grappling for this young lady, Jiu-Jitsu for her opponent. They both need to be in the areas that they are most comfortable if they want to get their hand raised after long training. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they are exchanging leather early. Just unable to quite find that range. And that left hook landed on the button. Tate gets touched by that kick there. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Trying to establish that jab once again. Three minutes to go. Wow! Can't take pictures now. She 
She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! She throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, she's got a good jab. Missed with it there. What a punch. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? That was a thudding leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Punch there by Tate. More clinching. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice right hand. Real sneak by Tate. Liver kick. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches there. She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. She is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you... Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, round two. That was snuck in. Nice strike. What a body kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. There's no tell on that leg kick. And they separate. Just a slip there. Nice punch there. Oh, she blocked the punch. She was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, she is wearing it. Bleeding from her cheek now. Man. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right hand. Good night. Big combination. Big elbow there. She missed with that. And now this could be the beginning of the end for her home. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play because this fight is about done. What a fight. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. All right, we take a look back 
look at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout.